2019, a year of ups, downs, and all of the in-between. Today's video, we're going to go on a nostalgia session and look at everything that happened in 2019. Now, to make this less of a carbon copy of Will and E's this year on the internet, today I'm going to look back at not only things that happened from this year, but things that happened in my life as well. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and go on a nostalgia session of 2019, starting with January. <music> 2019 started off like every other year. Fiat 500 Twitter were doing their New Year's resolutions. New Year's resolutions obviously are something you have to stick with for the year, but did people stick with them? No! You saw people on Twitter going, This year in 2019, I'm going to get all negativity and throw it out the window. I'm going to stop eating chocolate and quit alcohol. A dry year. Get it! When really 10 minutes in, you were sat on the sofa eating a selection box and drinking a bottle of wine. <laughs> There's always next year. Wouldn't be a year of controversy without Logan Paul. Last year, he did something very very, very bad in Japan. We won't go over it because I want to get monetized. This year, Logan Paul did something a bit stupid. Uh, he he apparently went gay for a month. It's, what is it? Male only March? Male. You uh, why don't you say this part? So ma it's male only March. We're gonna tr attempt to go gay for just one month. For one oh, month. Damn. And now, obviously, this caused a lot of outrage. And to be honest with you, I don't understand why he did it. I mean, he's just go he's just going with his trends. You know, what's he gonna do next year? Throw a hamster out the window, who knows? Records were broken at the start of this year as well. With another Instagram post taking over, I believe it's Kylie Jenner, and becoming the most liked Instagram post on Instagram. Who did this, you ask? Was it was it Kendall Jenner? Was it Pierce Morgan? Was it Game of Creed? It was a fucking egg. Yep, it was an egg. Everybody and their nans was liking this post, and I believe it is on something like 13 million likes. Well, actually, I'm gonna Google it. World record egg. Likes. I'll take that back. The world record egg is on 53 million likes. Um, wow, okay. That everyone thought it was just some random person uh, just putting a picture of an egg, but it turns out it's actually a mental health campaign. It's actually not a bad little page, to be honest with you. I'm, I must admit, what they did in terms of like the, health, uh, the mental health stuff, it's actually quite good. Well, the year definitely started off with a bit of a crack. Get it? Cause Banter! In terms of my life in January, there wasn't really much happening. I was sat uh, revising most of the time, and as you can tell, really got to me, didn't it? <laughs> right, so moving on to February. February was a pretty dull month, I'm gonna be honest, but there was one, one major thing in the music community that shocked everything. 21 Savage, you know the guy who sings with Post Malone on Rockstar, made a good album and is actually very talented. 21 Savage, uh, as everyone thought, was American. He's been living in America. 21 Savage was found out to be British. What the fuck do you mean? He was, in fact, found out that he had uh, gone over his visa in America. He was going to be deported back to England, where he is from. To have him as part of our community, you know, I'm, I'm very happy. And of course, the 21 Savage memes started. Of, of course they did. Of World of football in February, uh, Lionel Messi scored his 50th hat-trick, which was an incredible achievement. One more thing that actually happened in February was the EFL Cup Final. If you did not know, the League Cup is where all of the EFL teams compete to win the trophy. The reason this was so significant for this year, because of one moment in the final, Manchester City were playing Chelsea and Kepa Ariza Balaga, the Chelsea keeper, refused to come off the pitch. It caused an absolute outrage and my goodness me, it was one of the most boring finals I've ever seen. City won 4-3 on penalties and of course they won every trophy this year. It was just boring, wasn't it? February for me, however, I did go to Wembley Stadium. I did a stadium tour, it was really cool. There's a video out on the channel if you guys want to go check it out. Pretty cool month and uh, I really enjoyed it. Moving on to March, uh, the start of March we had something that was was a little bit annoying. Article 13 happened in March. If you guys do not know what this is, it basically affects the internet. Uh, any countries outside the EU won't be able to see stuff inside the EU and it just, it just messes with the internet. YouTube did this whole ad campaign where they wanted people to start protesting against it. It got triggered but not really much has happened. But moving on to the old politics. Yes, I have to talk about politics. I know people hate it. We failed to leave the EU in March and it was pushed back to October. You'll know what happens from there. It's a bit shitty. But yeah, basically, because the country is so poorly run, Theresa May couldn't 
uh, leave the EU in time. So it got pushed back to October. Other stuff that happened in March, uh, Stormy Daniels and T Donald Trump got in a little bit of a scandal. Uh, the Champions League, Ajax did in fact beat Real Madrid. They were on an absolute roll. They beat them like 4-1 or something and they advanced to the next round of the Champions League. De Ligt, De Jong, Ziyech, the lot of them were running wild in the Champions League this year and well, most of them left, didn't they? <laughs> in my life this year, in March, I in fact got into a Sidemen video. Sidemen Discord, if you guys did not see that video, the one question, go. I was in fact in the video, I'll give you a little snippet of that now. Did I ask him? I said that I would do an impression of JJ. Can I do an impression of JJ? Yes! yes. Hi, my name's JJ. Uh, I'm black, I wear bandanas, and uh, I'm, a, I'm also pretty good at drawing. You can tell by their faces that they're thinking, this fucking kid's, he's on steroids, he's a spastic. Okay, uh, I'm black, I wear bandanas, and uh, I'm, a, I'm also pretty I'm sorry, Toby, I can tell that you look disgusted with me. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but for real, honestly, that is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. Harry, Ethan, and Toby looking like they want to shoot me in the face. I mean, if I ever meet them, I'm gonna say that that was me. Ah, cause the fight. The... Ah. <laughs> that laugh, that awkward laugh after I said that went. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, very, very nervous to talk to these guys. Like they're they're chill guys, but look, come on. I've been watching Harry since he was like, since he had no pubes. So actually talking to these guys was was quite mad, and I had my brother and my sister in the corner of the room, fucking staring at me like. After this, I thought that was just going to be it. I wouldn't make the video, but then this happened. Hey, can I ask a question? <laughs> yeah. Are you Caucasian? No. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. So he asked me if uh, I was Caucasian, and I had no fucking clue what that meant till that day. And um, this this next part kind of kind of ruined me. Oh my god. Do you know what a Caucasian is? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> But, yep, that uh, that happened. And another thing that happened in this year for March for myself was I went to pool on holiday. It was pretty cool. So moving on to April, this month was taken over by a certain artist, the one man who made this year almost unbearable for some people, Lil Nas X. You know the song Old Town Road, you'll know the amount of plays that song got this year. Basically the reason this song got so big was because it was released as a single just by him. It wasn't allowed on the country uh, the country uh, charts because apparently it's not country enough, which I can see why, but at the same time it's, it's sort of a country song. What did Lil Nas X do? He didn't protest, he didn't go and cry in a corner, he recruited one of the biggest country stars ever. Billy Ray Cyrus. Yep, that happened. The song was everywhere. It was played on every radio station. I think it actually got to number one for quite a while. And uh, yeah, the song got overplayed. Not only was April about Lil Nas X, but what else happened was Google Plus got deleted. TikTok was banned in India. The film Avengers Endgame was released and I still haven't seen it. I know you're gonna kill me guys, but it, mm, I don't know. Ugh. And one thing which I couldn't give less of a shit about the royal baby. Yep, Meghan Markle gave birth in April and I couldn't give less of a shit. Moving on to May. Now, May was one of my favourite months of this year. Not only was it the month of football for me, but it was also the month of my exams. Yes, the exams did start in May and to be honest with you, everyone was panicking. They were going crazy. I'm not going to pass. I'm not going to pass. But in reality, they weren't actually that bad, to be fair. I don't want to say they were really, really good or anything because they weren't, they were fucking horrible. But at the same time, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be and they went, they went pretty quick, you know? Now, obviously, you'll find out how well I did in my exams, obviously, later on. But anyone who's doing their exams this year, obviously, they're not as... I don't want to say they're as bad as, as people make them out to be. It's just the way that the teachers go on about them is like they make them 10 times worse. What you've got to do is go in there, know what you're doing, write everything that you need to write, and leave. May was the month I, like I said, of football. Manchester City won two trophies in this month. They won the FA Cup, beating Watford 6-0 in one of the most boring games of football I've ever seen. And they also won the league in a tight encounter with Liverpool on the final day. Liverpool ended up beating Wolves 2-0, I think it was 2-0. Uh, and Manchester City, in fact, thrashed Brighton and Hove Albion. And obviously they won. You have no idea how happy I was when Glenn Murray banged that header in 
in what the first half it was it was very early in the game and my god i screamed the house down and i've said to my friends this year if liverpool win the premier league i will dye my hair red which oh for fuck's sake but not to worry though, there was one more event that happened a few days later that made it all better. Liverpool versus Barcelona at Anfield has got to be one of my favourite moments of this year, if not my favourite. Liverpool 4, Barcelona nil. corner taken quickly, Origi. Art, I don't want to alarm you, but there may be a corner taken quickly, Origi! Ah! I screamed the house down, I ran outside, I pissed off my parents doing it. It was an incredible, credible day and wow. Theresa May in fact stepped down as the Tory leader which obviously that means she was no longer the Prime Minister and we needed a new Prime Minister and we all know who the fuck that was don't we? James Charles got in a little bit of beef with a certain YouTuber I believe she was, what was she called? Patty Westbrook, that's her name. He got into a bit of beef with a girl called Tatty who just used him for views. Basically she was saying stuff like oh you you force men to be gay. Which apparently turned out to be a pack of lies and she got loads of views off it. <laughs> Moving on to June. Now, June started off in the best way possible. Champions League final. Liverpool against Tottenham Hotspur. We, in fact, won 2-0. What a game. It, to be honest, it was a shit game, wasn't it, really? But, nonetheless, we did win our sixth Champions League trophy. It's not every day that you get to see your team play in the Champions League final and win it, so I'm going to remember that day for a very long time. I did get a bit drunk that night, though. Um, as you can see by these videos. In Paris, down to Turkey. Oh, We've won the fucking lot. Pays the Abel Shankly. The fields of the world. We are lot supporters. I wake up from Liverpool. <laughs> doing that again. <laughs> In the world of boxing, there was two major things that happened this year. One of these was in June. Anthony Joshua was facing Andy Ruiz Jr. and he lost. The big fat blur, he's fucking fat. Like Anthony Joshua, big six foot six lad and little Andy Ruiz with his gut hanging out. Anthony Joshua lost. Now there were some rumors that obviously he had a panic attack before the fight and all this sort of thing. I mean, there wasn't really much to say about it. He, he absolutely got knocked down. And he lost, and he lost his belt, which was a shock to everybody, every boxing fan across the world. The Women's World Cup also started, and we all know how that ended, don't we? The USA won it, and honestly, congratulations to them. They won like 13-0 in one game, like, it's ridiculous. Portugal won the Nations League 1-0 against the Netherlands. England obviously went out in the semi-finals. Notre Dame burnt down. KSI and Deji had beef. Obviously it was really back and forth and Deji obviously made a diss track which has been taken down now. JJ made a really really big video which was also one of the most viewed videos of the year. But yeah Deji unfortunately had a breakdown on, on, on camera and it was a bit of a terrible situation but they are hopefully all good now and we'll be seeing some videos from them hopefully soon. And in my life well exams ended and it was one of the best things I think we've had all year. Coming out that last exam, it was a short exam the last one and we were all sat there, it was just about to turn uh, the time and as soon as that, that invigilator went, your time is up, everyone looked around at each other just like, oh yes, oh in summer, get it. It was one of the best times and obviously that, uh, that time we had off was just incredible so, whew, wow, I can't believe I got in for a whole month of uh, exams and then that was it then, no more school forever. It's been a few days now, gathered some more information. Let's start with July. To start off with in July, there were loads of trends as per usual in this year. One of these trends involved a water bottle. Yes, I'm talking about the bottle cap challenge now. It wasn't a really a big challenge, it was just something that people did for a little while and then stopped. Basically what you do is you just at least like spin round and, and kick a bottle cap off. It's a pointless challenge ever, but a lot of people did it, a lot of celebrities got involved. I'm never gonna attempt it because I'll fall flat on my ass. The main thing in July that happened was in fact, Boris Johnson became the Prime Minister. Minister. Every 12 year old girl on their Snapchat story was screaming that the fact that this buffoon was the new Prime Minister. Everyone thought that that was the end of the human race. July was a pretty big month for TGF. They released their first of two childish hoodies this month. I do have this one so I'm gonna go get it. This bad boy right here sold out in 18 minutes and bags me a video with 5k views. Now big congrats to TGF for this because that is the best piece of merch they've made. Obviously there is another piece of merch to talk about in this video later on but we'll get 
get to that in December. July was a pretty packed month. Over a year, obviously, there is the Glastonbury Festival in July. This year was no different. It was a really, really good one. We had Stormzy headlining. There was one thing that happened this year which changed everything. Dave, the rapper, hey, you all know Dave. We know him. He's, he's a legend. Basically about to perform Tiago Silva, his, uh, his song. He then got someone from the crowd and bought them on stage. They seem to know the words better than Dave did. That is where Alex from Glasto was born. The kid enjoying his weekend at Glastonbury, seeing his idol Dave on stage, was bought on stage, and now he's got loads of brand deals and he's loving his life. This month was also ran by Logan Paul. Say he ran an event, he ran the Challenger Games in July. What an absolute nightmare this was. One of the worst YouTuber events I think we've ever seen. Props for him for doing it for charity. It was absolutely fucking terrible. There was about 300 people that turned up, they didn't even do half the races, and, uh, well, Tobe just will beat Jake Paul, and that was the only thing that was actually worth talking about. In terms of my life, there were two major things that happened in July. The first of these was we went to Anfield Stadium. Being a Liverpool fan and being a Liverpool fan for all my life, it was an incredible moment to go see the the, uh, the stadium. Some cardboard cutouts you got photos with, and all this, obviously, the uh, the changing rooms and everything was really cool. And the whole day was just pretty cool. There's a video out on the channel if you guys want to go look. I'll leave a quick snippet here. <laughs> What a beautiful stadium this is. As you can see, you can see all the way out into Liverpool from the top of the main stand. I mean, it's just breathtaking up here. It is brilliant. The only one that gives a crap, the capacity of Anfield is 54,074 people. It's massive. <laughs> Second thing was I had my prom, uh, school prom. Yeah, that was uh, pretty cool. Little boy gamer career turning up in his little suit and his vans on. It was a pretty good night. <laughs> Right, so August. Uh, this is probably the most dull month of the year. Not much really happened, so what I've had to do is add a couple of things from the end of July onto August. One of these things, which happened at the end, right at the end of July, technically the start of August as well, you could count it uh, time difference wise. The Aldi Cup happened and Tottenham actually won a trophy. Yes, the meme of Tottenham not having a trophy, the Twitter account, the Twitter account that was counting down the days until Tottenham finally won one, finally got to say they won a trophy. They beat Bayern Munich in the Aldi Cup final, and does anyone care? Not really. The thing that started in July but continued all the way through August was something that was pretty big. Minecraft Monday. I just don't know what this is. Uh, basically, Keemstar, you know the YouTuber Keemstar, made a Minecraft uh, sort of tournament. He got loads of YouTubers together in pairs and they basically did like a survival games. And your old me would be screaming at this right now. And because I was nearly 17 years old at the time, I, I probably was still excited to be fair. I don't know. Uh, we, had, we had YouTubers like Vicstar, you had PewDiePie, you had Ninja and Tfue and all these YouTubers playing Minecraft. Like, also got to witness James Charles playing Minecraft. Speaking of James Charles, uh, he decided to leak his own news on his uh, Twitter account. He got hacked and instead of someone else leaking them, he did it himself. Now for monetization reasons, I'm not going to show these pictures because to be honest with you, I don't really want to see them myself. But yeah, if you want to see them, then that's, that's your that's your preference. The and I oop meme became one of the most overused and annoying phrases all year in August. And Mr. True Geordie, Brian himself, uh, his DMs got leaked. August was the month of leaking, wasn't it really? Now I'm not going to go into too much detail about what actually happened with True Geordie and what he said in the DMs. You probably know already to be fair, but let's just say it was a bit of a stinker. In August, uh, for me personally, I went on holiday to Somerset with my family. The place we stayed in was just an absolute madness. There's a video, uh, there's like five videos on the channel or something that you guys can go and watch. It's a pretty cool holiday and, you know, one of the best highlights of the year is the August holiday that we go on every year. September was the month of memes. This was probably the month I enjoyed the most in terms of the internet. Now, there were two accounts and two things that happened which shocked the internet. It made some of the funniest memes and the easiest ways to bag a tweet on Twitter. The first of these was No Context Hearn. Now, if you guys do not know who Eddie Hearn is, Eddie Hearn is basically a boxing promoter. He does a lot of promoting for Sky Sports, Zone. He came to fame when the KSI vs Logan Paul 2 fight was announced and somebody found loads of little phrases that he'd said in interviews and all sorts of things and made a no context Hearn Twitter account. These things were viewed so much during this year that I cannot get the phrase oh go on then out of my head. Now if you don't know and you've been living under a rock, if you don't know about any of these memes, I'm going to leave a couple on the screen right now so you can get an idea of how fucking amazing these were. My darling, you in a headband, you are different gravy. Oh go on then. 
Eddie Hearn is now a national treasure thanks to this No Context Hearn Twitter account. And not only is it a Twitter account, they've also got merch. Are you struggling with what to get people for Christmas? Do you not have enough stocking fillers? Well get them a living in your head rent free t-shirt. Now in September was also a very big month for Post Malone. He released his first studio album, Hollywood's Bleeding, and my god, I've overplayed that to death. But well, you know what I'm like when Post Malone, I've got his merch on right now. I mean, a lot of people probably don't care about this, but that album was, was very good. Second big thing that happened on the internet in this month was something which I think everybody knows about. But if you don't, and you're living under a rock, let me explain. There is this account on YouTube that goes around uh, filming and confronting, well, what can only be described as nonces. This account got pretty big and they were putting like loads of like 40 minute videos out of just them confronting people who have gone to apparently meet girls a little bit younger. There was one video of that account that absolutely blew up. The only way to describe this is the bold nonce. Now I am gonna be honest with you here, this meme was overplayed to death and it is still funny today. Ryan the bold nonce became an internet sensation in that 40 minute video with some of the one liners that he said. Again, like the no context turn, if you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna show some videos on the screen right now. Now I'm panicking. Yeah, don't panic. No, I am because I'm gonna lose my job. But watch I'm shaking. Mate. Game okay, over, mate. mate. Game over. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm nicked. So right, yeah, you're nicked. Yeah, come on then. Right. Oh, I'm not here for a fight. Oh, I'm not here for a fight. No. No, you stay where you are. No. Thanks for this. That's right, my holiday. Hang on. I'm a prat. That's one way of putting it. Yeah. And I'm a dipstick. It's just too funny, isn't it? Those memes were used all over the internet and there's even a No Context Nonsense account. Like, it's just, what has happened to Twitter, man? Also in September, the Area 51 raid happened. Wait, no, no it didn't. It was all a hoax and uh, there was one guy that did a, a Naruto run across the screen while on the news. That whole Area 51 thing was just a pointless, wasn't it? Like 20 people turned up and they got turned away. SI and Logan Paul had their first press conference and Jake Paul continued to duck Big Gibber. And that girl, Greta, how the fuck do you say her name? Greta Thunberg, I think that's how you say her name, continued to have a go at people for climate change and became a meme as well. And then personally, I started college in September. Now, obviously I'm doing media at college and the people I'm with and the people in my group are some of the best people I've ever met. I'll leave a little slideshow of some videos from that as well. It's really gay. No, I'm not. Like, shut the <laughs> You are! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Fucking hell! Two or two. on to October now. Now October again wasn't the most amazing month ever. Firstly, Shane Dawson released yet another documentary. This documentary was with Jeffree Star. Now this was like a five part series or something and to be honest with you I didn't really watch it so I can't really comment much about like what it was like and all this sort of thing. They took over the internet and they released their own makeup palette which again I mean, I don't really have any interest in that, but Look Like App became a massive hit as well, if you guys don't know what I mean by this. Basically, there's an app that you can put a photo of someone uh, on it and it will say who they look like. It said I look like Willow Smith, apparently. <laughs> This app was used everywhere, it was used, people were doing some random shit with it. Mr. Beast, the YouTuber of the year in my opinion, yeah, fuck you Tanamojo. Team Trees was released, now what this is, is basically you donate money and that equals one tree. Mr. Beast has done some incredible things this year, but I think this tops it off. He's actually uh, raised like 20 million dollars, which is 20 million trees, which was the ultimate goal. So that means he's gonna plant 20 million trees and that's just incredible, like. Release of the Joker film was also in October and again like Endgame haven't seen it But I've heard that it was one of the best movies people have ever seen Fortnite went into a black hole this month and it became Fortnite season 2 now I've played Fortnite once since that and to be honest with you. It's literally no different Holly White uh, got a job at McDonald's by using his Alexa. That was that was a pretty strange thing to do Jack May obviously got a load of views off it. I really cannot stand Holly White like I really cannot stand that man Man. Basically what he did was got a brand deal with McDonald's and used his Amazon Echo 
to essentially get a job at McDonald's. And the arrogance in that video is one of the most mind-blowing things ever. You know, if he's gonna get a fat paycheck at the end, he'll do anything. With my life, this was a pretty stressful month, I'm not gonna lie. First of all, I moved into this lovely house, this lovely setup was built and all of that. It was a pretty stressful time, obviously, I was living at my nan's for quite a while, but we managed to finally move house and we're living here and everything's Gucci. I also released my setup video, which is now currently on 10,000 views when this video goes out. That has got to be my favourite video I've ever created because the, the reception that video got was just incredible. We've gained like 200 subs from that video it was still going up. We're nearly at a thousand subs, which I just cannot believe, man. Like, I cannot believe that. I just want to say to everyone who did watch that and is new around here, thank you so much for the support. And no thank you to everybody who commented about my LED likes. I know I shouldn't have put them at the front of the desk, but to be honest with you, it's my setup. I don't care. I'll explain why I did that as well, because I know I didn't do it in the video. I like bright LED lights, and when I'm sat in bed, I like to have the lights on. When they're behind the desk on their own, you can't really see them. I put them around the front to make them brighter so, so the room sort of glows. I've got an LED bulb now as well so I can have like a little, like just have it all on blue or all on red or something. It just looks, it just looks a lot better. Now the other thing is that I went to my first concert as well. John Bellion is a singer I've been loving for about four years now. I managed to see him at a gig uh, in October in Birmingham. Now being a fan of him for many years, this was one of the best moments of this year. Now I'll leave a few snippets again on the screen of the actual concert. I didn't make a video about it or anything like that. But John Bellion is one of the best artists I've seen in a very, very long time. A lot of people don't know who he is, and if you don't know who he is, go and check him out. His music is incredible. He's not paying me to say this, I'm just saying this off my own bat. I'm a genuine fan of him. I need a big favor from everybody in the room. Get low. to November. Now this month was fight month. KSI versus Logan Paul was the biggest event of the year. This was one of the most amazing things that's happened to the UK YouTube scene since it started. KSI beat Logan Paul in a six round boxing fight. Uh, he won by split decision by a couple of points. Logan Paul obviously took the fattest L of the year. It was a very, very, very good fight. Obviously that was their first pro fight, so I don't know what you were expecting, but it was bigger and had more people watching than most other fights. It had more people watching than like the Fury fight, the Anthony Joshua fights. It was big. It's also got a lot of new fans to boxing as a sport as well. So all in all, Eddie Hearn's got a lovely paycheck, KSI Logan Paul got a lovely paycheck, and boxing benefited as well. Congratulations to KSI, you have had an amazing year. Not just the boxing, but with the sidemen and your music and all this sort of thing. It's been a good month, it really has. And Logan Paul... Baby Yoda was the main meme of this month. I'll tell you what was actually quite funny though. There was a video clip, I can't show it for copyright reasons. There was, a, there was a video clip from what Baby Yoda's from. I think it's like a kid's Star Wars show. He basically like bites a stormtrooper and then the, boss, and then the stormtrooper just goes bang. OK Boomer was the biggest phrase used in November and still is. Basically, if you don't know what this is, uh, it basically means you're an old boomer. Like, that's it really. It was also known at November in November, obviously, like they do every single year. The ultimate test for soldiers to see if they are brave enough to complete it. I mean, you probably did better than me because I lasted about five minutes. Oh shit, my parents watch this. Cut, cut.
Elon Musk revealed the Cybertruck. Now, if you're a, you're a car fan, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is that design? Now, it's meant to be a bulletproof truck that looks like it was used in a GTA PS1 game. It was really, really weird design, but I actually quite like it. And I, to be honest, I really want one. <laughs> what was funny about the launch of this is that they asked them to throw a rock at the bulletproof windows. They shattered straight away. You know that Sonic the Hedgehog that was released of that, for that new movie? They got a new design and people were finally happy because the last design looked absolutely absolutely terrible. In my life, there was one major thing that happened in November. I got forced to go on NCS. Now, I met a load of new people, obviously. NCS was was pretty good. There was one major video that I really like and I overplay so much. Take a look. <laughs> the last month of the year, December. For starters, we had YouTube Rewind. Remember YouTube when they did that shit YouTube Rewind last year? People were thinking, this year's gonna be different. There's gonna be a decent one. We're gonna have a good YouTube Rewind this year. Well, blow me down with a feather. It was fucking worse than last year's. It was a top 10 video. It was a Watch Mojo type video as Rewind. I honestly don't know what was going through YouTube's head when they put this video out, but it's now getting quite a lot of dislikes. Probably not as many as last year's, but it will get a load. The second Childish Hoodies were also released in December. I would rate mine, I would show it on camera, but I still haven't got mine yet. Hey Ramel, where is my fucking hoodie? Give it to me now. I'm a Celebrity obviously started in November and ended in December. Jack Jossa won I'm a Celebrity this year and I cannot believe it. Andy was absolutely robbed. There was a sad uh, passing of Juice World this month now. I don't tend to speak a lot about these passings of people during these videos, but Juice World was one of the people that I actually looked up to as, as an artist. His music, honestly, was a big part of the year as well. Obviously, I've been going through quite a lot of shit in, the, in this year. His music was one of the main things that kept me going. He was in my top five Spotify list. Rest in peace, that was that was a rock. That was a shock to the system. During December though, obviously it is going near Christmas time. Sidemen released two songs, The Gift and Merry Merry Christmas. What side were you on? I was on The Gift, but then I realized that Merry Merry Christmas is a lot better and I ended up winning. If you haven't seen the songs, uh, go and watch them. They're very good. The Gift got into the charts as well on iTunes, which was also pretty good. Calyx made a song as well. We made a, a song called Naughty List. Again, a very good Christmas song. It was the month of music really, wasn't it? And the final thing that happened in this month again, Gib versus Jake Paul was confirmed. 30th of January 2020, we're going to see Big Gibber finally smack the shit out of Jake Paul. That concludes the year, that concludes the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for the continued support over this year. You guys do not understand how much it means to me to see you guys comment in, watching my videos, subscribing, sharing them. I get messages from people saying that they love the channel and they love the content. It really does warm my heart and it's, it, it keeps me going, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't make these videos if people didn't like them and I'm so happy that people do. 2020 is going to be an incredible year. I've got some really good things planned. I want to make it a good year, you know. I want to get to that 1,000 subscribers. I want to do something really good with this channel. But hopefully you guys can understand that and uh, hopefully give me some ideas of things to do for the channel. Hopefully you guys have had an amazing Christmas and a happy new year. Do not go away though because there will be one more video coming out tonight at 9pm. Best of Gamer Crew 2019. I do it every year it's coming out at 9 p.m it's a montage video hopefully that will uh, show you everything that you're missing from the channel videos you can go back and watch on if you're new i've been gamer creed you guys have been awesome merry christmas have a happy new year get fucking phil mitchell and i will see you guys in 2020 but until then a uh, peace out